we were there in the woods and we found a wild creature and many observers wondering why the heck there were so many cameras and what the heck this wild man was doing only to find out he was making a video about how he shoots his photos by himself welcome to the video <laughs> Hi, if you're new here, my name is Josh Shorley, and I make product reviews, tutorials, and vlog every once in a while. And today is kind of a vlog tutorial esque type of day. I have just off camera the Canon EOS R5, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through how I shoot my product photos and just some of my photos in general. First photo is going to be this hat from Pete's Pirate Life on the Canon R5 because. I'm thinking I might go stand out that way a little bit, maybe, I don't know. may have to fire up the remote app on my phone to shoot this the way I want it to be done. But on the R5, I have the 24-105 to F4. What I have in mind is kind of a close-up of my head, uh, just to really show off uh, the logo, because anytime there's a logo on a product, I really like to show that off. For a context of what the idea is behind this photo is because this is a hat, uh, where else would you <laughs> wear it other than outside in the cold of nature <laughs> and also it's still winter so the grid demands winter photos so here we are <laughs> my settings so far are iso 100 because we want the iso to be as low as possible because it is really bright out here i do not have an nd on an ND filter on this lens because it's actually right here. So I have one of these of the two to five stop variety, which is kind of a cheat way of taking photos, but whatever, I don't care. I'm currently at F6.3 because I don't, I'm not using the ND filter and I am at a shutter of one over a hundred. It was really bright. I just trying different things to get it down. So then I have the timer set for 10 seconds because if I don't have to use the remote on my phone, if I can help it, then I don't want to. So. We're gonna try this out. And hitting the button and 10 seconds to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not focusing. Oh well. Sick, this is not gonna work. <laughs> oh, we are set to daylight balance for those wondering. Yes, this microphone can clip on me. I just, I don't wanna have to Photoshop it out if I can help it. That turned out better, but we can do better. The thing is, what I really want is to really have that background blown out. <sighs> We've resulted to pulling out the remote app. So hopefully what we're getting is a very blurry background and I can manually focus on the logo that is on my head. I'm hoping that there's enough, like the trees behind me kind of create a little bit of a frame. There's a lot of lag in the preview I'm getting. Well, we're just going to go for it and yeah. This one looks like I'm trying to sing into this stick, which is not a microphone, but hey. All right, I'm not absolutely in love with it, but I'm in love with it enough to call it good for that shot. Uh, <laughs> my camera says I've been recording for nine and a half minutes. That's just one shot. I still have more to do. I have this other hat that I got a while ago that I do have some pictures of already, but I just think I need more because I don't love the ones I have, but hey, uh, you know, the more the merrier, right? What I did last time was my camera was sideways. This time it's vertical. So I end up shooting most of my photos anyway. I wish I could be shooting horizontally. I mean, it can be, but I want more of the background here. So because I'm a little bit closer, Hopefully I can just kind of get up, touch the screen without having to use the remote focus. It'd be easier and I just disconnected it. So I'm sticking with my plan. So here we go. So this might not work out as well as I want it to. My butt is cold. Also I could probably rotate. Ah, oh, but the two trees make such a great frame. How oh, about those rays are immaculate. <laughs> this is not really the most ideal, but it could work. I really need a little bit more light on my face. I didn't bring an aperture light, 
So next best thing, phone light. Maybe. Or not. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay. Um, I think for your sake, <laughs> just know I'm experimenting, trying a handful of different things, and you're just going to see the finished shot. This way I can just focus a little bit. If you would be quiet, I am filming a video. Thank you. I got the shot. Not super happy with them, but they look good enough for what their intended purpose was. Uh, I am now <laughs> going to head back home where it's not cold and my butt isn't wet because we can't. <laughs> I know this isn't the great British baking show, but we can't be having soggy bottoms. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, but I am. We're going home. <laughs> I'm back inside, gonna shoot some photos on my kitchen table. The first step of doing any type of product photo on a table is to clean off the table. Move you, move that, move here, move all those, move my bread. Can I just move you like this without any consequences? Heck yeah! And because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this table, just make sure that everything is completely clean, so so the reason we do this is because it's better to fix before than to fix in post. Try to limit how much you actually have to do in post so that way you can be done editing faster. It's like the same reason why if you don't like having trash cans in your video shots, move them before. Don't try to remove them in post. You will save yourself a lot of headaches. First product I wanna shoot is this pen from Big Eye Design. Here's roughly the idea because I want kind of an action shot, kind of thinking a little bit Jack Sparrow-esque because I want to have the pen kind of balancing on my hand or something. Just something that isn't just like a flat shot, but we'll do some detail shots of it later, but we just need a hero shot and that's the idea I have in mind. After I've cleaned, cleaned off the table, I always turn off every single light in my kitchen. There's definitely not enough light coming through my window, so I did grab my big light and camera is vertical here, you're there, and pretty much all I'm going to be doing is sitting here, staring at my hand, doing weird things until something feels right, looks natural, <laughs> without being like, the heck are you doing with your hand? Sure, one of those. And then, where did I put that pen? Get this pen in focus, make sure it's in the same lighting, so that way when we go to Photoshop this all together, it looks way more natural. And I may even try to balance it a little bit on the tip of my finger, just so that way I can create a little indent in my finger, so that way there's some point where it meets so that I can blend in with the rest of the photo. When you're doing Photoshop work, you gotta make sure you get everything that would make it look more real. So if the pen is gonna be touching your skin, you gotta include that and make sure everything is in the same lighting. It doesn't have to be, but it sure makes it a heck of a lot easier if everything is in the same lighting for your photo. Just some things to think about. All right, so I know this is more of a vlog than a tutorial, but hopefully you guys gained something from seeing my thought processes and everything I think about when creating a photo like this. And I know I didn't go over everything. So if you have any other questions that you'd like me to answer, drop them in the comments below. And thanks for being here. And I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.